Hey guys, this is Matt with another Minecraft video. I'm here with uh, Timo Kahunas. Did, did I get your name right? Yeah, you did. Awesome. Wow, that's amazing. And then uh, Ben is here as well, right? So, yes, um, am, yes. And someone just, literally just threw me 40 redstone lamps. Uh, just, I'm um, just throw it back. I'm, I've, I've got a TP request, you guys. TP exception. Uh, there, we there we go. Okay, so uh, weirdness as usual happening in my own base as people are running around with tons of redstone lamps. I have no idea why. Um, and here we are. So I just arrived in your base. So, uh, so yeah. first off, who's done most of the work on this base? Split work between me and him. So we've been like the main guys doing this. We've also had Jack the Killer help us. He's an admin in our faction, so he's been okay. helping us as well. Cool. All right, but, uh, excellent. Let's start off here. So I think, yeah, this is the F home in here. I couldn't TP in here. It wouldn't let me. But that's the F home in there. It's a button opens up the door just to keep us secure. So if we're they do manage to get in people are safe back there and they can't just get killed every five seconds yeah and then we kind of started branching off so over here we got our small little potion area that we use to brew our pots for the faction and we leave them in people's personal chests we got small little nether wart farm here as well and then just some random junk chests here that we just drop off stuff and uh i like the design here, i like the design elements i see you've got some um uh, stuff like the uh, the staircases and things like that. I always appreciate yeah. it when people build something that's cool and defensible, but also looks good, you know, and it's like well yeah, lit ben and all that built, kind of stuff. Ben built most of these uh, little chest areas here, so I like how this turned out. It's really nice. Yeah, yeah. make sure your base looks nice. Yeah, absolutely. And then we just have four cow spawners in here for the faction to use when people need food, because we know since <laughs> nobody has really slash eat, we have to use this as our... Uh, way of source of food so that's some serious that food there. four cow spawners that's quite a bit <laughs> yeah. so well we have a faction member who has lots of money right now because of that tree farming so we were able to afford a lot of things awesome and tree farming rocks yeah it's so. amazing yeah and then we also put in four skeleton spawners over here just to keep it even try to keep the base as symmetrical as possible yep and uh we have that just a small little grinder as well for xp grinding and then the chest as well and then, Ben, if you want to explain to him what this is, you built this over here. Sure. So it's probably not the best-looking thing on the base that we've ever built, but it's kind of just a, a fun alarm system that we've made. So if we flick this lever over here, you can see the <laughs> lights start flashing. You can hear the uh, note blocks going off. And so if maybe faction members that aren't in our Skype call and don't really know what's going on, they come here, and they know if this is going off, you you better be ready to fight. And then back there, we just have a, a, a pulse uh, making device for redstone and yeah. some note blocks hooked up. So it's kind of just a fun thing. It's a cool. nice thing to have. It provides sound like throughout the whole base. And it's also kind of cool to have just when we're getting raided, which is usually a 24 seven. So, yeah. So how come you guys get raided so much? You were telling me, uh, before the, uh, oh, we started no, recording. Jack's here. Jack's here as well in the base. Uh, well, we, we built this base. I'll take you more in depth after Ben shows you the defenses, but we think our base is pretty strong. So we've been teeping people here. We've been selling our cords out for free and stuff. Just having people come here and we've teepeed like probably half the server here just <laughs> to our base. And we did have one guy that was betraying, but we caught him right on time. So we kicked him, but he did have a home set. So we blocked that up. So if you head down here, this will probably be the second level. And, uh, this is our just chest room. This is where the grinder is and uh, some more storage for the skeletons in our headroom as well. So everybody has their own private chest here. And the guy was caught right here uh, breaking the chest, taking people's loot. And we caught him right on time and kicked him So before he wow. caused any real damage to the faction. And then since you see this big block here, this is where its home is in there. We're just going to keep that blocked in for now until uh, I feel like it's comfortable. Until it's comfortable again to let go. But... He did TP someone else in here with him, and they used four creeper eggs on our base for absolutely nothing, and they didn't get anything good out of it. So, it was so care, care to share who who is the betrayer, if you, if you don't mind uh, me asking? Elite Lion Plays. I think he's part of Oblivious. He's with MCK Pancakes and all them. So, uh, uh, yep. so well, you've been outed now. That. You've been outed yeah. now on YouTube. So, uh, glitched. Uh, yeah, so he's a guest, too, so he only has one home set, so I'm going to give him like a week or so, and he's probably going to set a home somewhere else, yeah. most likely, but... So when did this go um, down? When think, when did this betrayal go down? Uh, probably last weekend, I believe, or maybe a couple days ago. I'm not I'm not for so sure. So fairly recent. Yeah. 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 It was pretty recent. And then we kept expanding on this block, put like water over it as well and another wall. It's just they did manage to come in with another creeper egg that couldn't get in through. So it was really like chunky, but we tied, we decided to take that out because it just looked ugly. Yeah. But 
so yeah that's pretty much it for this level we also have a repair grinder here for people that they can use to salvage and repair for us and then everybody's just private chests that they have you, so who do you got that can salvage uh jack the killer right here he can salvage. he's like almost level 1000 or something like that for salvaging so nice he's our main guy to go to yeah he's a better rock on his head good for <laughs> Uh, down here, we just have this waterfall go throughout, and then just staircase, and then we have this nice water layer that we built before, and then a potato farm down here that we started. So this has just been growing slowly and slowly. It's nothing huge yet, but it's getting along there. And then we're going to expand one more level down here after this uh, water layer, layer to another carrot farm. So then we'll have more farms here just to fill up all the room and stuff that's here. Yeah. And then so all the way down... I don't think we probably want to go all the way down because it's going to take a while to get. We can show him that if he wants to do the questions now while we walk down here. Sure. So, so this water layer is this a defensive layer? Is this in case people? Uh... I, well, that was there originally before we started uh, expanding downwards, and that was just for anti glitch. But they did fix it now, so you can't throw ender pearls in water anymore. So when oh. you're standing in water, you can't use ender pearls. So that's kind of, I guess, not really used now, but it's still cool to have there, I guess. So when you're so, so say that again. So when you're standing in water, if you're standing in water, you cannot use you ender pearls. Throw. Yep. So if I'm standing right here in this water and I try to throw an ender pearl, it doesn't let me. Oh, I did not know that. So that's good. That's a good yeah. little tip for people. I think they fixed that during the DP yesterday, so that's why. And yeah, then we have just stone here for now, but we're, we'll expand these into further more layers and farms and stuff as we go along. And then all the way down at the bottom here, I'll let Ben describe this because this is also goes part of defense, but I'm just going to swim down through the center. I think it'll just go faster than walking down the yeah, stairs. It takes, a, it takes a while to get down because this is all the way to this is bedrock, huge. basically. Yeah. Yep. Um, and so what all we right. have down here is access to every single one of our trenches that we have. So we built five trenches. Um, I think four of them go all the way down to bedrock and we have ease of access straight to every single half slab. So if one... Or if somebody oh, wanted smart. to break in, we can definitely just easily go and repair it. It's super simple, and it's really effective. And we have uh, wings to every single half slab area um, throughout the entire base. So it's really, it really helps just keep the uh, defenses solid. And if people were to end up actually being able to break these half slabs, we can easily go repair it. Yeah. So, it so have, you had anyone, have you had anyone break, uh, successfully break uh, we, the half slabs? We've had someone successfully break the first wall, and the half slabs were only five blocks deep. We haven't bothered to make that all the way down to bedrock, bedrock just yet, but that's as far as anybody has gotten. Nobody's gotten through the second wall yet. So, so speaking of walls, uh, do you want to go on to the defenses? Yeah, you can go ahead and TP to Echo 13. He'll is on top of the wall right, all right. now. And so okay. on top of the wall of here this is where we spend like most of our time yeah uh, just basically trying to bow people away <laughs> i've had a lot of really fun shots where people are building some very simplistic cannons and you can just go shoot their tnt right before they blow it up it's a lot of fun so up here uh if you swim wow look at all these uh uh things have been built outside i mean this is yeah. crazy <laughs> you were not kidding yeah. um that's if, awesome if you want to you can even do f map just to see how many factions have claimed out here there's like 15 factions out here that have claimed land to get their uh cannons ready to blow but i don't think well, anybody's getting in it's there. really just a lot of fun yeah. with, with your permission i'm going to do that then just for fun yeah. so i've never yeah, done this before ahead. on a base showcase um so uh yeah, with their permission. permission so uh crazy all right so prometheus chepic boost uh sublakia relentless revenge <laughs> spectral the wow well done uh yeah. this is cool so yeah, it's, uh it's very cool we just recently also put this like towers here and this uh layer up here maybe a week ago just so we can have ease of access walking up here so we're not just stuck in the water all the time we've got uh -huh. our whole, uh, color coded as well so there's the yellow tower over there's the orange there's the purple blue and then there's red and so if we have targets surrounding the base we can easily call out you know red tower red tower one right moving orange or something like that it's really simple it works really well we've got a lot of people trying to sneak in invis or full diamond in. and we've had uh actually quite a bit of fights up here yeah and then we also put in this little slab layer here so they can't just swim up our wall and have access to this whole area up here and since now you can't ender prone water it's pretty much impossible to get up here because ender pearls don't reach this high up from down there so it's pretty hard and well that's yeah, cool and then you want to describe these trenches so if you jump down here you can see all these trenches and then yeah 
I'll just go so to bedrock. <laughs> every single one of these trenches, except for the very first one right here that I'm standing over, every single one goes directly from or from this level all the way to bedrock. So awesome. it's going to take a very long time to finally build up sand in order to break in if they wanted to. And it uh, it's an extreme defensive strategy, and I really recommend it to just about anybody who's making a base like this. Yeah, yeah. Um, It's definitely... A, um, a good thing to have. Uh, how long did it take to uh, build all these walls? I mean, this is, these are walls that are going pretty probably far down. I built, I built every days. single one of these walls. Yeah, it was about two to three days. I probably put in a good know, solid eight. eight hours a day. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And Timon so, and Jack and I all pitched in to dig all the way down yeah. to bedrock through the we trenches. Put some that... music, we put some music on, got some haste pot, <laughs> and started mining. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah, yeah, that's how I would do it. Yep. So, and then... And then um, so do you guys have UL uh, uh, yes, stone bricks? Yes, yeah, so you have unlimited oh, yeah. stone bricks, so you're not having to mine for all this stuff. Yeah, uh, I that's upgraded good. Echo here a couple of ranks, and then he got himself, I think, the last rank up to Elite, yeah. so he could get a UL stone brick, because it's very, it just, it's so awesome, and it's, I think it's necessary in yeah. factions, it's how easy it is. Yeah. And then we have pretty much like this huge moat going 15 blocks out from the base, that's there just for, I guess, so people can't drag in creepers and try to blow up in their uh, way in. And nobody's real, really been going for the walls. They've been uh, attacking the towers because they're not really protected, and that's nothing we really need to protect. And people have just been shooting TNT at the towers, but uh, Echo's always there watching outside, and he's been able to uh, uh, pick off their TNT shots and blow up their own cannon or just kill them. So Yeah, I can see there's a, a cannon down here. Now, it looks like someone tried to build a, like a mini base outside yeah, your walls. Yeah, so uh, Risker, X Dark Light PvP and them, uh, they came here, and they built this base, and they put, like, they started like defending this putting water over everything but the problem that they had was they built it like right next to the our claim so the uh, water was flowing over so i went and got sponges yep. took off all the water off that one side and just blew up tnt in there so yeah that's a great tip awesome. you know you always always want to build your uh your water wall three blocks away from uh the edge of your claim because otherwise yeah. people can walk right up to it and sponge it and i don't know if you know if that's going to change in um uh, 1.8. 1.8. I understand that sponges work differently, and will uh, will uh, absorb in much the same way that water flows, like with a um, a seven block uh, taxi cab distance uh, yeah, absorption. Yeah. But that hasn't happened here on mnb.net yet. So um, yeah. And then we just built these towers. I think they turned out very well. I did most of the design on this thing, and you could just like shoot them. It's not the greatest if they're like right under you, but uh, it's good to stand on those walls. And then I and it just looks awesome. Yeah. Too. I yeah, it does look awesome. Staircase all the way down to the tower. So if I, I jump down, I'm in PvP and I can't do slash home. There's always a door down here I can open and just climb right back up into the towers and back up to our uh, walls. Yeah. So we're always there and ready for uh, defenses. Now, so, do people try to blow up the um, the towers down there in the hopes that they can then go up the yeah. stairs internally? And yes, uh, that's what they're trying to do. I've never I've seen one person attack our base and uh, get get through the first wall. And I guess that what you could do is you could always put a door right here so that the uh, the, the towers were self-contained if, if need be. But I really like what you've done here, and the fact you've color-coded them is just smart. And um, I love the crenels, the, the crenellation you've got going on here, the um, the, the battlements. Uh, yeah, this turned out really good. I'm very proud of this build right here. Yeah, it's very nice. totally awesome. I, I don't know. I think that's it for the base itself. Uh, yeah, if you wanna... But if we go to our vault, if you want to TP again to me, uh, this... The vault is where we store basically everything we got. We got a couple sets, maybe five sets or so, back at the F home. Or wait, no. How much does uh, how much do you have, Timon, in there? You probably have home like six, seven sets of P4. Yeah, so it's not the biggest amount uh, there. Let's see. I'm I've got a TPA a request to you because you're you're too close to the edge because it's like on a half block. You have to be like in the center. Oh, that's uh, yeah. I've never seen that before. So, uh, there we go. the vault is where we keep everything. It was designed completely by Jack, uh, the killer, and he's also here right now. And so, inside of the vault, we've got massive layers. We've got um, three block or three layers. And wow. Tomorrow, I, think he, I think you know how to explain it a bit more than I do. You yeah, so ahead. it's very well protected. We put fences here for anti-creepers. So, if they're trying to put creeper eggs down, they're going to have to use more than one creeper egg just to blow up the chest. Um, we also have... Uh, we also have these uh, P4 chests that we use, and every single one of them spilled. So 
we have two P4 uh, chest plate uh, chest, and they're completely filled. Same with so like, about legging. 75 sets of P4 yep. total. Holy guacamole. Yeah, that so is there's, crazy. There's a lot of P4. We got tons of god tools and swords. We have like two double chests of god swords. We have, uh, we have shared ores, so we keep our ores all in the same area, and that's what we've been saving up there. So. Yeah, and then we That's have awesome. like XP bottles or rating just filled with TNT XP bottles, and then just a bunch of ores like diamond blocks, gold blocks, and all of them. And it's also anti-glitch that Jack built, so there's got crafting tables everywhere. So if people try to Ender Pearl up, they'll hit the crafting table and open it instead of like uh, keeping to Ender Pearl upwards. So that's a very cool design that he uh, thought of. Oh, interesting. Does that work with? Uh, um... Yes, it does. Because when you're throwing, you get next to the last layer, and once you right-click again to throw it again, you'll open the crafting table. So you won't be able to throw. You have to be like a certain block away before you can ender pearl again. That's really interesting, and that's true even on claimed land. Because uh, yeah, interesting. Yep, you can you can open crafting tables on people's claimed land. Oh, that's awesome. That is an yeah. awesome. So and so where exactly now, are these? I'm just curious. I, I'm I'm not seeing them. So they're oh, uh, yeah, they're so this is an obby layer, and then there it goes. Uh, crafting table after the obby layer. Uh, dry area like a two block dry area yeah and then another crafting table water and then obby again so it's it's pretty big it's i, I doubt wow. anybody's been getting to this thing either and then we're going to start building trenches on this thing down to bedrock as well because it's a vault and we want this more protected than our f home so yeah now have you have, has anyone tried to take this out yet uh no i don't think anybody's found this yet so. okay We've had right, cool. maybe a random like guest that have gone through the random teleporter, ended up in the ocean and saw this, but uh, yeah. yeah. Besides that. Cool. And then cool. if I go, let's go home pod. And then we also have like we did have a tree farm under there, but we moved it to a bigger area, kind of outside of our F home. It's not claimed, but uh, if you TP to me, you can check out our pot base as well. And we have a grinder down here. We're gonna be setting up our uh, skeleton grinders and all that. And uh, blaze, so we can get XP, so we can keep repairing some more of our armor. So this is just a really big area that Jack uses to brew, and we have loads of chests here with tons of potions for PvP and all that. So it used to be a uh, tree farm, as you can see by some of the dirt that's here, but yep. it, we changed it all back to a potion area because we thought it wasn't necessary. And then that big block up there that you see, that's a skeleton grinder. I think there's four skeleton grinders up there as well, so you can use that. And then we have an automatic, uh, if you, while you're on the ladders if you look behind you can see all the nether wart as well on that block up there it's all nice. automatic as well oh cool so uh you've got water harvesting is that the idea yes yeah. so it's very easy to harvest and just i think it's all ready too but yeah and this is just our small grinder we're gonna probably be moving this as well to make it look nicer got those skellies that pop down here coming in yet. Yeah, i'm pretty sure there's they come. yeah i can hear them Okay, cool. Well, this is uh, this is great. You've got you guys have got uh, a lot of stuff. I really respect the fact that you've got an active F home that is uh, that you guys are actively defending, and uh, yep. that's uh, that's really cool. Lots of fun. That's how we feel factions should be played. A lot of people play factions by hey, I'll pay you fifty k to betray these guys. Yeah, and, uh, they're not really paying playing it legit. So we've been trying our best. We have a small faction, like nine, ten players, but uh, it's all players that we're really good friends with, and we talk on a regular basis. Everybody's active. Yeah, I was so checking you guys out. So you got nine active, you got nine players. Your power is 88, so you guys are keeping that pretty tight. Yep. Um, your land is at 76, which means you don't have a whole lot of uh, wiggle room. You can't just be going yep. off and... We have and, we have two more guys joining that are Jack's friends, like, and uh, his cousin. So we'll have two more, so that's another 20 power there. So we'll have some more uh, cushion room there, just in case yeah. we start That'll dying. Be nice. Yeah. Now I noticed that the uh, the um, the message in this area said rage mode. Yep. Uh, so this is claimed by an alt faction, and that's for the reason that if someone in our faction does manage to find this vault and it's claimed by our faction, they can't just you know mine inwards and then they can open all the chests and take all the P4. So we just have it claimed by an alt faction because we have secured alts in there that uh, we have the passwords to and nobody else does. Yeah, and, and it's not like we're necessarily trying to keep our faction members out. If they ever wanted a set of P4, we'd be more than happy to hand them a set. It's just... It's more of the sense of security. This is basically the starting vault. This is the starting base that's been on the server forever. Yeah. Uh, and we've been using it. So 
we just really want to keep this uh, safe and protected. So if anybody ever wanted any tools or anything like that, we'd be more than happy. But yeah. just can't risk with having over someone 75, just mine <laughs> 70 sets of P4 just to be uh, throwing that out there. Totally so, understood. Yeah. This is something I actually wanted to uh, do a video on. I've, I've re learned recently that there's a faction command called F Access. I don't know yep. if you've uh, used that at all. but yeah, so uh, we, that's what we use for rage mode. So they gave us access to all their claims in this area. Uh, so we can open everything, mine everything, and all that. So that's cool. It's, but it's you, nice to have. It's just another security precaution for us, I guess. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, this is fantastic, guys. You've done a r great job. I loved the uh, um, uh, the top of your base where uh, all the action's happening. It was just neat yeah. seeing all those... The, the remains of all those who have attempted to uh, <laughs> to break in just scattered. You know, you got like a boneyard of cannons down there, which is uh, totally much. cool. Yeah, so it's um, all thanks to our faction as well, because they're constantly on watching for us. So if, yeah, if if one person's on, no one else is on. They usually message us all on Skype and tell us that stuff is going down. That we get more players to uh, get some more reinforcements on. We have strong allies that help us as well, and they're allies that I know that if I TP them into the F home, they won't betray us so right just nice to have that awesome that's fun very very so I'm cool pretty sure that's it we showed you our vaults and our FOM, yeah. and i think that's it so maybe the next time you guys are getting raided um give me a, a holler and i'll come over and maybe do a video of uh, the defense of your base that would that, that might be fun sure, that sounds like yeah. fun yeah that sounds yeah. cool you can all just right see all the people out there it's insane yeah i bet um, so, uh, if, for those of you watching this, if you like this video, just give a thumbs up to, uh, uh, or if you like this base, give a thumbs up to the video. Uh, as those of you who've been watching this series know, the base that, uh, the base showcase that has the most likes on February 15th is the one that's going to win the prize pot. And I'll give a quick update here. We continue to have more stuff being tossed into it. So, uh, for those of you on the phone with me right now, I'm just, uh, reviewing the, uh, the prize pot. We currently have, uh, a beacon, nether star, a stack, a full stack of creeper spawn eggs, a full stack plus 14 Jesus. of, we have a full stack, plus 14 of super god apples, um, or uh, super super gapples. Uh, we have 10, I think actually we're up to 11 god swords. I haven't, I can't fit it all in one chest now, um, obviously. And uh, we've got 10 sets of P4. We've got almost two stacks of diamond blocks. Um, I think we have uh, uh, 12, 13 spawners, including two snow golem spawners, four zombie, two skelly, three spider, a pig, and a cave spider spawner. Um, almost three stacks of gapples, uh, just a little bit less than that. And then, uh, I always lose count here, 23, uh, 24 now, 24 god fishing rods. In case you like to fish, you're going to be uh, fishing like a king, or actually like a god here. Uh, tons and tons of um, TNT, it's what, 12 stacks, uh, nine stacks of bottles of enchanting, and uh, just more and more god stuff. We've got a Minecraft account. That's in the uh, been added to the pot. We have uh, ten god axes. We have uh, eight god bows. Everything is undamaged here, um, and uh, just crazy amounts of uh, you know stacks of uh, of gold blocks. And uh, we've got twelve blocks of emerald, twenty-two blocks of iron, just tons and tons of stuff. And uh, it just keeps coming. So uh, lots of god tools and um, sponges. Twelve spawn snow golem eggs. Lots and lots of stuff. So um, and That's let me really give a cool. Yeah, it's been really awesome how people have been willing to um, just share uh, and donate stuff. Uh, and speaking of which, I'm going to give some uh, shout-outs to the people that have shared uh, uh, just so much. Uh, I'm going to mention 7J-Man. Uh, I mentioned him in my last video, but uh, he just has given so much. It was awesome. He donated the beacon, 16 creeper eggs, 9 god apples, 10 snow golem spawn eggs, 3 sponges, a stack of obby, 12 diamond blocks, 7 blocks of emerald, 17 gapples, a set of what I call Super P4, that's the P4 with Unbreaking 3 and other enchantments, um, a, uh, a Fortune 3 God Pick, a Silk Touch God Pick, and a God Axe. Um, uh, I have to shout, oh, like, I actually am, I've reached the point where I get to shout myself out. I donated a couple uh, Creeper Spawn Eggs just to make it a full stack. Um, Warlord Teza donated a God Axe, which is named uh, Teza's Hatchet. That's kind of funny. So um, we're getting some named items now, like and for example. And then on top of everything, Ben and I are going to donate 10 Sharpness 5 God Axes, 10 Efficiency 5 God Axes, <laughs> and, three, oh. and three Minecraft accounts. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Wow. Holy. That's uh, that's insane. So, so, yeah. uh, so expect that. I need to get a book and quill and write this stuff in there. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much, guys, for a great uh, showcase and a great contribution. I will give you a, a, a shout-out uh, in a future video, as I always do. 
for those that uh, are donating. And um, and I'm not done with the the donator list. It keeps growing. And um, so there's still another six people to mention. I'm not going to do that now just because this video has gone long enough. But tons and tons of stuff. Thanks so much, guys. Appreciate your time. And for Thank those for watching. Us. Yeah, absolutely. For those watching this, give this video a, a thumbs up if you want to uh, 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 help these guys to uh, win this massive prize pot. And if you love the, uh, the, the base and the showcase of it. So thanks, everyone. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.